there and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a really fun one. Today I am attempting to make a peekaboo Christmas cake. Now peekaboo Christmas cake is one where when you cut inside there is a hidden shape inside that is perfect for any type of holiday. I saw these on Pinterest and I was determined to make my own version so I didn't use a recipe so you will see if this comes out perfect or meh. For this recipe you'll need cake mix, I use red velvet and vanilla, eggs, green food coloring, oil, cream cheese frosting, and some cute cookie cutters, I ended up using the Christmas tree. Start by following the instructions on your vanilla cake mix. I preheated my oven to 350, and now I'm just creating the batter for the vanilla cake. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit before I add in my green food color, and then I'm going to stir that all up until the green is well combined. Next, line a cookie sheet with parchment paper and pour your batter in. Bake in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until the center of the cake is cooked all the way through. You want your cake to be moist but not too wet so that it falls apart when you're cutting out your cookie cutter shape. After it is done cooking, I'm bringing it out of the oven, letting it cool for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to pop in the freezer so it's a little bit hard when I cut out my shape. This will just allow for everything to come out nice and clean. Using the cookie cutter of your choice, cut out the inside shape and set aside. The most important part of your cookie cutter is ensuring that it is a shorter size than the pan that you're cooking your main cake in. So I'm using a bunt cake today and I just made sure that this Christmas tree cookie cutter was small enough to hide the red velvet cake on the outside. I'm cutting out as many Christmas tree shapes as possible in order to try to get a tight fit around the bunt pan. I'm gonna pop those back in the freezer while I'm making my red velvet mix. This is super easy. Again, just follow the instructions that are on the box. I'm using a bunt pan, a nonstick pan, and I'm just gonna lightly grease that with some oil to ensure that the cake comes out nice and clean. Now it is time to assemble. Start by pouring just a little bit of that red velvet batter in the bottom of the pan and begin to arrange your shape. The key here is to tightly pack the shapes together so it forms a continuous ring. This was a little difficult just based on the shape, but try to pack them as tight as possible and then add your remaining batter on the top of all of the shapes. I also tapped it down just to ensure that the red velvet is in all the nicks and crannies. You do not want any air pockets here, so I am tapping as much as possible. You can also take a spoon and try to cover all of the pieces, but the cake will rise and cover them in the end. Once your cake is done baking, I baked mine for 34 minutes in the oven. I let it cool for a little bit before I transferred it to my decorative cake plate. Once your cake is nice and cool, go ahead and heat up your cream cheese frosting. Now, I heated up mine just a little bit too long. I think it was like 10 seconds too long and it became super melty and kind of separated. So you wanna go for a little bit less melty consistency so that it doesn't separate on your cake. Add a few sprinkles and voila. The 
You guys, I am so proud of how this cake turned out. It is not perfect, definitely because of the frosting, but I'm definitely gonna try this again for more holidays. It was so fun to do, and I love the Christmas spirit that is into this cake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you've made a cake like this before, and leave me your tips for the next time I try to attempt this. Definitely like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in a couple of days in my brand new video. Bye.